We just need some potatoes. We can get a good dish going some here. Some people, this is what happens yeah. when you use that eggplant emoji too much. It starts raining down on the eggplants, okay? Y'all need to chill out. <laughs> All right, what else do we have for videos? Dude, that bicycle that appeared out from behind the guy. That one was actually kind of weird. I, I can't tell if it's edited or not, but... All right, so this video we have is bicycle teleportation in Russia. Wait, what the fuck? Just, like, comes out of nowhere from behind the guy. It's like he just spawned, you know? Like he was in a video game and the guy in a bicycle just spawned. Yeah, it's weird. And, like, you can't just say, like, this guy on the bike was just following the guy in front. That means he must be, like, the bike bicycle in between his legs and he's, like, moving with the guy. And then all of a sudden he's like, all right, I'm just going to ride. Hmm, Yeah. What's this next video you got? A car appears out of nowhere. I saw this one. And I tried to look to see if it could have turned on the road from a, set, a street that's kind of in the background. What the fuck? And it, it really just comes out of nowhere. I, mean, I watched it over and over again. And there is a little road that's what well, looks like a road. But it has maybe a barricade in front of it. So I'm like, it didn't come from there. Dude, that car came out of nowhere. Like, literally out of nowhere. It did. The car literally came out of nowhere. That is, that's a weird video, man. Back to the Future post with car appearing from nowhere and getting sideswiped at a junction. Man, imagine being the driver of that car. You're just driving along. All of a sudden, you're in the middle of, what is this, Russia? Where um, is this at? I thought that that might have been somewhere in the UK. Yeah, you just appear somewhere in the UK with an American car. Texas or main plates. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next video is truck swerves for Ghost Girl. Oh, All yeah. Right. Wait. That last video, if you go to about 13 seconds, I would say about eight or nine seconds. So there is a, on the other side of that uh thing, there is like another road over there that turns, that wraps around. Because you can see a car at uh eight, nine seconds that's over there. And they turn left. See, and that's where I was looking at to see where they come from. But if you look, it's they they aren't there. They don't turn left out of there. No, you're right. They don't. All right. So this next video we have is a truck swerving for a ghost girl. It's a minute 39 in. All right. Let's watch this. I mean, he wouldn't have swerved to. There's people coming. He wouldn't have just swerved like that for no reason. Yeah. I mean, I could see somebody taking a video of maybe a semi-truck like that swerving and then imposing a ghost-looking girl walking out of the way, you yeah. know? But there'd be no way to know if that was an original video. You know what I mean? And That's very true. And when the girl was standing in the road, it probably would have been more sense to swerve right instead of left into on oncoming traffic. Yeah. Hmm. That one I'm a little iffy about. I mean, it's good editing if it is fake. Yeah. Oh, shit. This next thing. Oh, my mm. God. I totally forgot about this. Pope. I didn't know about it till I started looking up uh, glitches in the Matrix, and it blew my mind. So this one is the Pope disappearing in April. He, uh, during the COVID stuff, went out to do prayer, and when he turns around to leave, he just disappears yeah, so that's... and then the camera cuts off of him to the next news station yeah <laughs> he did oh my god he, the pope just disappears dude that's a hologram exactly R, the pope isn't real the hell <laughs> all right what happened was the pope logged on to the simulation decided to come do a prayer with everyone then as soon as he was done he didn't wait for his character to move out of the way he logged out <laughs> yeah he did <laughs> yeah he did ah uh, that one's weird that was really weird all right last video is future future self saves himself yeah that one's really cool so i actually a while back came across this video in a compilation of videos like this but i couldn't find it so fast forward to four minutes and 53 seconds of course it happened in Russia. Seems like all the cool stuff happens there. Mm-hmm. And what's this? The next one in the same video? Same video, dog teleports right after that one? Yeah, it is, yeah, that as well. Did someone come to my house and record my dog teleporting? 
Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the dog just like pops. The car speeds by, and then the dog just pops out from the middle Whoa. of the street. See, that's the same as like the woman, you know, appearing. That's very. That's a very similar technique. That I'm sure. You give me a couple hours, and I could do that in Adobe uh, Premiere Pro. Yeah. It is true. I don't know the original source of this, but you know, we're working with what we got. Oh, I say it's a. Was I say if it's real? If that was real, lucky dog right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. All right. So those are some pretty interesting videos. Does anybody else have any videos or stories they want to share with us before we go into theories about what this could be? Mm, I think I'm all my stories. Nothing that pops back into mind. Yeah. Same with me. So I guess we move into theories and what these glitches could be. So the first theory we're going to go over is called tuning fork phenomenon. Phenomenon. The spirit. Phenomenon. <laughs> so this spiritual research foundation believes that 50% of all deja vu cases are caused by the tuning fork phenomenon. And what is this phenomenon? Well, the theory goes that everything in the universe radiates frequencies that produce an aura. In the case of humans, these frequencies are a combination of our gross, mental, intellectual, and subtle ego bodies. Usually, these frequencies are uniquely tuned to each person, but occasionally, two or more frequencies can sync up resulting in deja vu as the experience and emotions of multiple people become momentarily entangled. Basically, we are feeling the emotions of others who live at the same frequency, and this causes the feeling of deja vu. Interesting. Okay. So, we deja vu isn't necessarily us, or maybe it could be us, but just from another another version of us in the multi a different universe and we tap into that frequency in that moment and we share that experience you know i have a very uh interesting quote from nikola tesla and uh, it is if you want to find the secrets of the universe think in terms of energy frequency and vibration and i 100 percent believe that there's a lot more to do with frequencies and us than you know that we're aware of yeah you mm -hmm. know and vibrations and stuff so hmm i like your th theory i wonder if tv started off as like a normal thing but what if over time they have manipulated the frequency that it emits that makes us want to stay in front of it longer and now they're doing that with phones mm. That's why you have urges to go on social media. Mm. I can tell you I have no urge getting on fucking Facebook. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, I read that one. I was just like, that's actually pretty interesting. The fact that they actually did a re like researched on it. But yeah, like Aaron was saying, dude, frequencies, there's something more with that. Oh, yeah. Because I remember, uh, I think it was during your hemi hemispink, uh, hemisync theory where like music plays a big part in it but considering it can control like the beat of the song can control like your heart rhythm or how fast your heart beats or slow and all that because i know there's a uh, one song out there that actually can make your heart beat super slow which i actually tried to listen to that and it freaked me out for the fact that my heart was starting to beat slow and it threw it threw me off there's a supposedly an image out there that if you look at it, your brain's not supposed to be able to conceive it, and you actually go right into a seizure. So I was about to ask you to link that, then I said, no, I'm not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go looking for it. They're going to look for it now. I will not. Someone's going to out there and do it. Damn. So yeah, that's, that's a pretty good theory. This next one yeah. is your brain checking up on itself. This theory is a, little, a bit more down to earth. Researchers from the University of St. Andrews have concluded that deja vu is actually your brain checking its memory system. 
They reached this conclusion by triggering deja vu in a lab setting.